Okay, today is Franklin WH install day. That's one of the batteries. The other one's in the back of the truck. There's the transfer switch and a smart circuits module. Each one of the batteries is 13.6 kilowatts of storage. It's very heavy. Good job, guys. Nice. Well, our Franklin WH system is now installed along with our end phase uh, solar side. Uh, we have two Franklin WH batteries. Uh, they each contain 13.6 kilowatts of storage ability and they are 50% charged. It's a new system that was just brought online yesterday. So we have a combiner here, two breakers. They're both 30 amp that these batteries feed into and then they feed into a Franklin, uh, I guess these are called the, the uh, A powers and then they feed into an A gate. And I'll go outside and show you that. Okay, so here is the Franklin A gate, which is basically a transfer switch. Uh, I have my meter and the meter feeds into the transfer switch and then it comes out and into the back of my electrical panel, my 200 amp electrical panel. Then there is the end phase system which is made up of 24 400 watt panels given a total of 9,600 watts. And I got it broke down to three different breakers. So I have my east upper 10, my east lower 10, and my south four panels, making up the 24. And then it has a utility feed of 15 amps, uh, basically telling, telling the solar system that there's power, either from my battery system or from utility. And there's a disconnect. For the solar system that feeds into this this a power i'll go ahead and open this up i'm very pleased with the quality of the build so we have a 200 amp service disconnect uh, on this uh, a power I, i'm sorry a gate and here are two breakers one's for the solar and it's feeding a 60 amp breaker coming from my solar and then here is the two A powers feeding in uh, there that I can disconnect the A powers. Um, this is online and everything's great. So here are 20 of the 24 solar panels. Each solar panel is 400 watts. 
So that's 20 of them. Here are the other four solar panels that's on the roof, making a total of 24 or 9,600 possible watts. I average about 7,100 watts in the system at high noon. Uh, we're in South Texas right now, and we're in the spring. Once we get into summer, it, it should generate quite a bit more, a fair amount more. So that concludes my tour of the Franklin WH and my solar system that we have uh, implemented here in South Texas. I guess this summer we'll really see the, the results of this. But right now, as of, uh, as of this afternoon, we have not used a bit of energy from the grid. It's 100%. The batteries are charging and, and my, my usage is covered by the solar. Very pleased. Franklin WH charging system or battery system. So right now, this is the app that I see on my phone and I've got solar coming in at 2.6 kilowatts and on a good sunny day I'll get up to 7.1 kilowatts. Right now it's a little partly cloudy outside. I'm currently using about 1,900 watts or 0.9 kilowatts and I'm, my batteries are charging. I have two A power batteries and right now it's 51 percent charged uh, today is the first day since i've gone online with my system basically i have a franklin a gate and two franklin a powers as you can see they're both normal state status and the a gate is is good and i'm 50, again i'm 51 percent charged so i'll pull this back down uh, so this kind of tells me right now based on my usage I get if the power goes out I get 12 hours and 20 minutes of backup um, we tested backup yesterday the lights just barely blink when you cut kill the uh, the main and six minutes later they barely blink when it comes back to the grid when the power comes back on so it's really nice so here's another feature of the app I'll pull down, refresh it, get the latest information. So here, and if we look through this, uh, since midnight, I was drawing from the grid, and my my home requirements were what they were, less than two kilowatts an hour, really more like a thousand watts. And then the solar started kicking in in the morning, uh, and I've had a peak as much as six kilowatts today. Like I said, it was kind of cloudy. And then you can see my A powers are taking the charge. They're taking 100% of the charge. Plus, I'm feeding. I'm taking care of all my uh, my needs uh, today so far. And you can see my state of my charge. It's it's growing as it's as it's obtaining power. So very happy there. Uh, if I click on the three bars up here and I go to backup state, here it shows that I'm, I kind of like this kind of like a porthole with water in there, but it shows that I've got 52% of my battery state of charge uh, in place, and I've reserved 11% uh, of my battery for power outages. So during the night uh, or afternoon after the sun goes down, I'll be drawn from this battery down to 11%. And then it'll go to the grid after that point. But based on uh, my average load, I've got 12, almost 13 hours of, of backup power just at 52%. So I'm very happy with that. Um, the other thing that I can do is off go off grid. And what would this? When would this be good? Well, if there's a lightning storm coming in or some real issues with the power company on, you know, I think that there's going to be some surges in that. I can go off grid right here. I can do this from my home in Iowa. This, this, uh, this system's in Texas, but I can go off grid and run 100% off the solar system and, and the battery system and let the storm go by. Uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, I may end up doing that depending on, on the weather. Uh, where I can just control it myself. So, anyway, I wanted to share. Have a great day.